you have to get dressed every day, so you might as well get dressed well. It's like eating. My mother was a dressmaker, my father was a tailor, so clothing was always, you know, fabrics, clothing, textures, textiles. Fashion magazines, they were always a part. I grew up with that. I'm leaving for San Francisco in a few hours, so I wanted to kind of show you some of the things that I'm taking, and I'm gonna show you how each layer has to work with the layer underneath. The first layer would be summer, right? So I would probably do this, and then earrings. So every outfit has to have hat and earrings, all of these components. Okay, so as it gets colder, the next layer I would put on would be Japanese kimono. It's actually a little girl's kimono. Now at this point, I would change the hat. It has to tell the same story. So like right now, I'm building Japanese. I'm a real, oh, perfectionist about that. This is just a little something that I found. This is actually, it's tribal Chinese, early 1900s looks like a headdress and now it's great. Do you see how every layer kind of tells the same story? All the elements combine in my house, you know, they kind of, the members of the family find each other. Most of my antique clothes don't have a label uh, and contemporary clothes, you know, obviously I like uh, designers, I have favorites, Comme de Garçon, but I like them all. So we're gonna do 1920s. It suits my body type, but I'm just making it more of what it is. I'm just embellishing now. It's a painting. I'm actually creating a painting. So it has to be complete, right? So I have to pay attention to every single detail. Now it's like perfection, right? Wait, the shoes. I didn't wear the outfit until I had the shoes. It's very much in harmony and it's just a pleasure. I get to look down at art every day. People who see me smile and feel so appreciative and you know they send me love, I send them love. So it's a whole loop of love. So it's very healing. So I dress, I dress every day. And to some people that's not no longer a priority. Motherhood and whatever they're into, right? For me, dressing was obviously always my priority. That is my work, you know, dressing. I'm, a, I'm an artist and these are my paints. I think a lot of women, especially in New York, really care about dressing. Definitely in magazines, it's only the young women who are, you know, looking great and whatever, and they don't show all the women. I get a lot of feedback from women. Wow, thank you, you're giving me permission to go dig into my closet and start dressing again. I miss it. Oh, I bike everywhere. Because you get places very quickly and People see you, I kind of like, you know, show off my outfits on a bike. I do not wear helmets and I should wear a helmet. I'm doing the outfit and the helmets take away from the outfit, which I know is crazy. But every outfit for me has a hat. I love hats. I mean, I have an amazing hat collection. The thing that makes this outfit, two things, is the shoes and the hat. See this? This will be an outfit. So I'm building this outfit now. This is the latest hat and I'm building an outfit for it. Obviously it'll be turquoise. Sometimes I'm building an outfit for years, like seven years one outfit took, because until I found the perfect earrings for that outfit, I didn't wear the outfit. I think Matisse made my eyes sharper. He just perfected my eyes. I teach women how to dress. I have a one woman show about dressing. I lend out my clothes. Uh, women hire me to dress them. So that's my gift and it took years and years and years for me to finally own it and figure it out and really make it okay. You know, I struggled with it a lot. I struggled with it being vain and superficial and you know, is this important enough? And I finally figured out that I'm an artist and that really what I do is what Matisse does with paints, but I don't paint. You know, these are my paints. <laughs>